Sooner or later, a terrorist group would acquire maybe a primitive nuclear weapons. But even so, there will be a catastrophe be far greater than the recent tsunami, for example, which we had here. A certain type of bomb, like the bombs are used in Hiroshima, which is based on Hiroshima uh, on uranium. The technology there is very simple. All you have to take is to take two pieces of uranium, even of a low enrichment, and shoot them together, put them together at one moment, say, by exp uh, putting an uh, uh, explosive. So it shoots one into the other. And immediately this becomes an, uh, a nuclear explosion. If a group like Al-Qaeda, which apparently have so great, such great resources, financial resources there, uh, they could easily manage to, to accumulate. They could buy, for example, by, by bribery. Uh, how, much, buy... Uh, how much highly enriched uranium does it take to make a simple bomb like that? Well, if you take the uranium as such, it's about, uh, say, 40 kilograms. Yeah, not... It's, you could buy it, cut it in a suitcase. And, and how, much, a... how much... I know there's a lot of highly enriched uranium around the world in oh, various a thousand places. Tons. <laughs> a thousand tons? Most of a thousand tons, yes. Yes, mostly in Russia. Yeah. There was an one technical agreement, the non luga agreement, from the two senators who tried to arrange to buy, buy up this uranium and then denature it by adding. But somehow this has fallen through and only the program has not been progressing as we have hoped. Yeah, the funding to, to secure this has, yes, just hasn't been, hasn't been provided. Yes.